Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the shop. Today, we're gonna be making some salt and pepper shakers off of this file that I designed. So, when you first open the file, it looks like this. This shows you your instructions for gluing all of the pieces together, what the finished product looks like, and also contact information for me and my site, along with some displays of the different pages. Page two, three, four, five, six, seven, so on and so forth. Looking at these, you can see the different designs that are already there and ready. For instance, if you want to see number two, or EF2, I should say, clicking on the page that's labeled EF2 will bring that up and show what it looks like. However, I don't want to do that. Instead, I'll show you how you can use the template and the base file to make your own custom shakers. So, on the template page, I have some stand-ins of pepper and salt. On the shaker set that corresponds to pepper and salt, and I'm going to find a font file that I happen to like for them. And I decided I wanted to go with this Skyrim style Daedric, or Elder Scrolls I should say, if you want to be technical. To make sure that both of these happen to be lining up in the exact same place, I will be putting the midpoint of that onto the midpoint of the guy there. And then I can drag it down, and if I drag both of them at the same time, they will stay at the same height comparatively to each other. So, I'm gonna drop that one right there in the bottom. And then on this side, I'm gonna do it a little bit different, and I want to have it up to the top. And then, I'm gonna put another one over here except these ones I want to be just those first two or first letter of each the S and the P and by selecting both of them again I can change the size of both of them together let's go a little bit bigger there we go and selecting one at a time I can Put them onto the midpoint on the center of the object again. Grab them both and slide them both up. And now I'm going to add one last thing, which will be over on these parts. I guess I should drag one of those as well. Didn't really have to, but oh well. Uh, we're going to do it in the Daedric font but I'm going to use the letter, or the number zero, which happens to correspond with the symbol of the oblivion. It's oblivion, the symbol of oblivion, as far as I know. And then again, I could be wrong. Now this one, mm, I don't like it being that small. Instead, I'm gonna make this guy take up a lot more space. Let's go about there. That looks good. Okay, I'm on the center. To that midpoint. And to that midpoint. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm copying while dragging, clicking the right mouse button while you're hovering will turn the one that you're holding into a copy. So you can drop it wherever. Bob Bing, you have a copy. Now that we have this all done, we can take that and hit control C, I'm gonna go to the very end, which is this button here, which will take us to the last page. And then I'll hit new page, so it'll drop a new one at the very end. And then by hitting control V, you can paste those in, group them together to make it easier to move and keep them from warping. Now we need to go all the way back to our base and select this. Hit Control C to copy it. Come back to the page we were on, Control V to paste it. And there we have our Daedric salt and pepper shakers, custom designed, ready to cut. The button to send it to the laser, and then it opens it up in the laser, just like so. 
Now, because I already have a piece of wood loaded into the laser, that is my pepper one, dark stained, ready for that, I'm going to select only the salt, press delete, and now we're only going to cut the pepper one right now. So, I'll click through each of these settings, that way you can see what mine are running at. This is a 60 watt machine. I only run it to a maximum of 60% power just to enhance the life of my tube. Plus, that's where I get my best cutting performance. So, that's why I do that. Everything's set up and ready to go. We have pot path optimized turned on with everything set to cut and ready to go. I'll go ahead and hit start and send that there. And there's the laser running away. And in case you're wondering why the laser is running back and forth using these brackets and engraving within those, it's because those normalize the travel of the laser and keep the velocity of the head the same the entire time. or the link below to see these get assembled and color filled with some red paint. See you next time.